Becoming a father changed Evan Coon's life. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Everything now is for his son. He's grown up, he's two, so he's, he's at that age where he's talking and all that. A first time voter, the father of a two year old has some thinking to do. Now we'd all expect to see a sexual education curriculum here at a high school, but what about a middle school? What about an elementary school? A state Senate bill proposed that all public school students in the state have some form of a sex ed curriculum young as kindergarten, and your ballot gets a vote on it this general election. It seems like they're kind of pushing it. They may be giving out a little more information than they might should. The Approve 90 campaign says curriculum is age appropriate, K through three, subject to social and emotional learning. Parents can review the materials and opt out. If that's what they really wanted this to be about, they would have mandated Aaron's law but they didn't. Where comprehensive sex ed is taught, kids prolong having sex, so it's safer. Some schools across the state say it takes power away from local districts. Mita North Spokane says the unfunded mandate puts them further behind the books. We're not against sex ed, but we're against comprehensive sex ed being forced into our schools. Instead of fighting the you know, fighting against this really important area of uh, education for our students, let's work on making better curriculum. This November, Evan can only vote what he thinks is best for his son. More details on Referendum 90 can be found in your voter's pamphlet. Andrew Bartline, Murrow News 8.